Hi, I'm David Gilday. I work for Armour as a principal engineer. Since I was a boy, I've enjoyed playing with Lego bricks and Rubik cubes. Several years ago, I saw a video on YouTube that inspired me to combine these hobbies, and I started building robots that can solve Rubik cube puzzles. My robots are built from Lego bricks. They use Mindstorms NXT for the mechanics and an arm-powered smartphone for the brain. An app that I wrote running on the smartphone uses the camera to take pictures, it analyzes the images, calculates a solution. The solution is sent via Bluetooth to an ARM processor in the NXT brick, which controls the motors to physically solve the cube. I've built about 10 robots. The first could solve the regular 3x3 cube in about three and a half minutes. My other robots can solve a 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and even 7x7 cubes. Some of my other designs can solve a Megaminx, a Void Cube, a Microbic, and the unusual 3x3x7 cube. In 2009, I saw another video on YouTube of a high-speed LEGO Ruby Cube solver. It inspired me to design my own high-speed robot, Speedcuber. The robot that inspired me was created by Mike Dobson. I made contact and we started discussing robot design. I soon discovered that Mike was also creating a new high-speed solver, which kind of made us rivals. But despite this, we became good friends. The robots we were working on, Mike's Cube Stormer and my Speed Cuber, both became very popular on YouTube. Following this success, we both started designing faster robots. Mike's strengths lie mainly in the mechanical design and mine are more in software. So we decided to join forces and design an even faster robot together. This was the start of CubeStormer 2. Our target was to beat the human world record, which at the time stood at just over seven seconds. However, a young Australian, Felix Zendex, beat this several times before setting an incredible world record of 5.66 seconds. Each time the record was broken made us more determined to make CubeStormer 2 faster. Mike and I worked flat out to reduce the time and bring it closer to our target of 5.5 seconds. But we were concerned that Felix might beat his own record at any time. With support from Arm, we made a video. During the filming, CubeStormer 2 achieved a time of 5.352 seconds. We've done it. We demonstrated CubeStormer 2 live at Arm TechCon 2011, where it achieved several even faster times. However, these were unofficial records until Mike and I were invited to the Wired magazine office in London. On the 11th of November, 2011, in the presence of the editor-in-chief of Guinness World Records, CubeStormer 2 set a new official world record for the fastest robot to solve the Rubik's Cube with a time of 5.270 seconds. It's a great feeling to hold a world record. Mike and I are absolutely thrilled. We just missed the 2012 edition, but CubeStormer 2 made it into the book of Guinness World Records 2013. Amazing!